Welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista. We're talking about how Polish helps us with our overall mental and physical well-being. And my physical and mental well-being should be great because I've been getting a lot of Polish. <laughs> so this particular video is going to be my Zoya haul that I got. You know, Zoya's been coming out with these 70% off sale, but not on everything. So it's you can only pick from certain polishes. But so far, I think I've done two out of the last three 70% off sales that they've done and I feel like there's always been at, you have to buy at least 10 you can buy more than 10 but I feel like there's always been ones that I, I wanted some of them I didn't even know that I wanted the ones I got in this haul I am in love with this but there's a couple of them that are just to die for beautiful gorgeous polishes I've I think I've rediscovered my love for Zoya which I never really had a lot of Zoya before but now that they've been doing these sales I've been buying a lot some of the newer ones have come with the z wide brush already in them some of the older ones did not so i think i think i have two out of my 10 that actually already had the z wide brush in there and the other ones are just you know regular skinny brush i will say i know we all love the z wide brush better and i do too if i had my pick i would get the z wide brush and everything but i will say i don't mind the other brush uh, maybe it's because my nails are super short right now i've had a couple really bad breaks um so i just cut them all back so my nails are really short right now so i guess maybe that maybe it doesn't bother me when my nails are super short i'm thinking if my nails were longer it'd be easier with the wider brush but anyway so let's take a look at these like some of them are winter polishes some of them are really bright summer ones one i wish i would have had for valentine's day because it would have been perfect for valentine's day so um, i think they're really awesome polishes so let's get the camera turned around we'll take a look okay my first zoya polish i picked up was this one which are you shocked that i picked this up i was um because you know it's that kind of burnt orangey base that doesn't always look great on me and it's got like a sunsetty shimmer pinky pink to gold shimmer that's in it this one is called solstice i actually really like it though i just think it's gorgeous um maybe for late summer going into fall i think this is really really pretty all right so let's uh i think this is one of the ones that didn't it didn't have the the new z wide brush on it so to make sure which one i was supposed to start on because i've got two that we're going to look at as toppers as well so Although I guess I should do it both ways. Anyway, this is Solstice, and I don't know. I think it's going to be bright enough that it'll be okay on me. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. And that's what I mean by when I, in the intro and I was talking about how you can only pick from a certain list of polishes, but it's making, it was sort of forced me to pick polishes that I probably normally wouldn't have picked. So, and of course, when they're like $2 and 50 cents, it's, you know, I'm like, okay, let's, tr let's try it. All right. This one, um, <laughs> I definitely don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. This is Celestia. It's one of their scattered hollows and one of their newer ones, actually. It's, um, kind of a champagne -y color which doesn't look great on me, but again, we could probably use this one, although I didn't prep for this one to be used as a topper. I bet it could be used as a topper. Let's see how dense it is. Oh yeah, you probably could definitely use this as a topper on something. Like maybe over a nice rich brown, that would be really pretty. Maybe I need to do that in the when I'm doing, when we pause, maybe I should swatch out a brown. That'd be really pretty with that, because I'm not sure how great that's gonna look at, like on me, so. Okay, let's move into some kind of like greeny, uh, bluey kind of colors, tealy colors, I guess. I don't know, this is maybe more aqua. Look at this, isn't this gorgeous? This is Sparrow. Um, yeah, I love it. It's got some hollow glitters in there. It's got sort of a metallic -y base. I even think there's a shimmer. Do you see that purple shimmer in there? At like extreme angles yeah there's definitely got to be a shimmer in there this is so pretty it makes me so excited for summer because you know it's coming eventually we're gonna have summer let's see what does that look like the only thing about so i do struggle a little bit with like these kind of teal based aqua base polishes just because when you have a little any kind of like a little bit of yellowing on your nails it can make your make it it can pull it more green 
sometimes not the prettiest green on the planet, so um, I do worry about that, but hopefully it'll be opaque enough in the second coat, you won't notice it. Okay, I got one other bright blue, which was this one. <laughs> it's kind of like what I'm wearing, huh? <laughs> this is Kira. I mean, I'm a sucker for these types of blurply pros, like blurply, blurply blue polishes. Look at the kind of pink shimmer that's in there. I guess that's what's making it pull purple. Yeah, that's really pretty. So this is Kira. It reminds me a little bit of, I have a sinful colors. I think it's called pop, pop it, something like that. It kind of reminds me of that. Although that one is more just a silver shimmer that's in it. Not so much this like pinky shimmer that's in this one. So, but it definitely kind of a royally blue base with that pink shimmer that makes it look blurbly. So super pretty. They look a lot different on second coat. So let's hold off judgment until we get there. All right, the next one I got was this one, and this was probably the one I was, I am just most excited about. If you don't have this, you need it. Like, it's an absolute must that you have to have it. This is Inez. I had never heard of it before. Um, it's basically this bright magenta jelly, and then it has, I don't know if it's like a champagne -y shimmer or champagne -y micro glitter, maybe. It's kind of hard to tell, but. Oh man, this is the one I was saying I wish I would have had it for Valentine's Day because that would 100% would have been on my nails. Oh, and this is also one of the ones that has the good ZY brush on it too. Look at this. Where are my pink polish lovers or purpley bright polish lovers? Where are my summer people? I know Joe from Polish Talk. She and I, this is, this is like a, a Joe and Krista special right here because this is the kind of polishes we like. <laughs> So pretty. Wait till you see it on the second coat. All of these, wait till you see them on the second coat. They're so, so, so pretty. Okay, then I went like hot and heavy into more plums and purples because, you know, that's how I roll apparently these days. Okay, so the first one of my plummy purples was this one, which is called Terra. Terra. And it's sort of a deep orchid shade with that sort of, it looks like almost that same shimmer that's in, in this one, right? It looks almost exactly the same. I think it is. I think it's just that same shimmer that's in, in that Kira one, so. It's really pretty. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's got the nice Zoya formula too, so super pretty. All right, and the next kind of purpley one that I got was this one. <laughs> Look at this one. This almost looks like the same base as Sparrow. Um, this one is called, it's a weird name. What is it? Tamaya. So yeah, I think it has that same scattered hollow with the sort of like a metallic -y shimmer base in it. Pretty, pretty, right? I can hear Jacqueline over here in my ear vomiting. <laughs> she should be like, it's terrible. That's what she would say. That's terrible, right? <laughs> we know that that's what she would say. Okay, and then the other purpley one that I got is this one, which is True. Kind of a weird name too. And it's a plum with sort of a gold shimmer, gold to pink shimmer in there. Probably the same one that's in this one. Yeah, I, th I feel like I know their MO. You can tell that when they use the same ingredient, so. This one is nice and rich and it had like a really creamy, just like a smooth, more opaque than most of the ones we just saw here. So if you like that kind of finish, where it's creamy and opaque, but it still has that shimmer in there, this one's probably for you. That's pretty though. 
Okay, so if you're wondering, those two on the end here are just an OPI, OPI um, do you have that color in Stockholm, is what I put on there. But actually, I think what I want to do is do the, the first, these two, well, at least one of them. Let's do it the first one on its own. The other one is definitely a topper. Um, this is uh, one of their new ones that just came out. It's probably in that same, you know, sort of base as, or that glitter mix base. Um, this is, I think it's Bisou. The Sioux, I think it is. So let's um let's I'll do it both ways. Let's let's try it. Uh, let's do one coat on its own next to it. I want to see what happens if it if it, it'll build up on its own and if I'll even like that. But I do want to try it on this purple. That do you have that color in Stockholm from OPI? So let, let's do one coat on that too. It might almost be a little bit too opaque for that. I wonder if it would probably be better like on top of like a pink, like Susie Chase's Portuguese or he was the artist from OPI. So, but yeah, you can still wear it on top of that. Okay. And then the other one that I, the last from my 10 Zoyas that I picked up was this one, which I don't know, it's kind of weird. This is Dallas. I always see Nurse Jackie and some other people doing it, but they're using it, but it kind of like, I see these white glitters have settled to the bottom or maybe some of them are just stuck on the side i don't know let me give it a good shake we're going to put it on that other swatch of do you have that color in stockholm um it could just be that some of them are stuck on the side but we'll see i guess we'll know when we put it on here huh Yeah, see, I feel like I'm not getting any of the whites on there, just like one or two. So this is gonna be one of those ones that we're probably gonna have to keep it turned upside down for quite some time. Those white matte glitters seem to be very heavy and it's definitely probably not in a good glitter suspension base. Let me give it one more shot here. I'm gonna try and hit it a lot and see if I can't fix that. Oops, I just put my hand in one of those swatches there there that's better so now I think I know that with this one I'm gonna have to look I can barely even get I think if I if I had it upside down a little bit more I, I could get it better on there so now I know that I, I will need to do that but it is pretty All right, let me do second coats on everything and fix the one I just smudged um, and then we can come back and hash it out Okay, so I did a I did a thing here. So let's talk about the first one we we definitely talked about was <clears throat> this one from the all the all from Zoya, but it's called Solstice. It's this orange, kind of like a deepened orange with that shimmer in there, and I actually do like it. I think it's gonna be okay on me. I think it's pretty. All right, and then the second one is Celestia, which with my blue nail polish underneath it, you can't really tell. It's gonna be sheer. It's it's gonna be, I mean, if you just want like a sparkle little wash over your natural nail, this would do it. Um, otherwise you might wanna put some kind of champagne base cream underneath it. Now I did also try it, like I said, over a brown, this brown that I put it over is from P2 and it's called Espresso. And I love how that looks. I love that you can see all the blue kind of shimmer glittery is coming out in it. So I actually really like Celestia over that deep brown. It's super pretty. Okay, this one is Sparrow. I did do three coats of a couple of them. Sparrow was one of them. It could just be because of these clear nail wheels might not be getting them opaque enough, um, but I do love that. That's gonna be really pretty for summer. And then Kira is the next one. I did three coats of that one and I really like it. I only had to do two coats of this one, but I did get a little bit of the blue on top of there, so ignore that, but it is so pretty. I love, this is my favorite one out of all of them. It's just so pretty. I love that kind of magenta purple color. All right, and then this one, oh, I'm sorry, this one is Inez. I forgot to tell you it's Inez. This one is Tara. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I might need to put it over something a little brighter. Um, it's That pink is sort of matching my undertones I think in my skin so I'm not sure and then Tamaya and that's also kind of sheer so you might want to do a base on that one and then this beautiful uh, deep in plum right here with the shimmer is true and I did go ahead and top coat all these so you could get see it in all their glory um, so I top coated this one was these are the two that we did on top of 
OPIs do you have that color in Stockholm? And this is Bisu over top of it. And then this of course was Dallas on top of on top of it. And then this is three coats of Bisu, that pink. And it actually is pretty opaque. I'm actually impressed um, on three coats. Now I don't know, it might get a little it's kind of still a little tacky, um, thick. So I think maybe putting it over some kind of baby pink and then using it as a topper might be easier than building it up on its own. But I'm actually pretty impressed with how opaque it came out. So, all right, well, what do you think about these polishes? I kind of, oops, let me hit you guys there. Um, I am actually really happy with all my purchases here and how I could, uh, use them in different ways and some of them are good as toppers so i'm i'm pretty excited did you partake in any of the zoya 70 percent off sales i'd love to know what did you decide to get did you get 10 did you get more i'd love to know thank you for joining me today please like and subscribe and i'll see you in our next video bye